Always remember, you are unique. Just like everybody else. Hey, it's Mike with Iceberg Gaming here with this week's episode of the Noob Gold Challenge, your step-by-step -step guide to making gold on a new server. So as you guys should know by now, we had 9.2.7 come out this week, and with it, the auction house region-wide merger happened, and everything sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Everyone's panic selling, I think, is what's happening. Everyone's just dumping everything they have on the auction house because they see the prices dropping and they're panicking. So what I think is going to happen is that once everyone panic sells off all their stuff, and then, then no one will start. No one will be refarming because the prices will be so low, and then uh, and then demand will kick in and be uh, higher than the supply. So prices will once again rise. I think they'll probably settle right around where the old region market average was. So if you're on a higher population server, it'll probably be lower for you than it was before. If you're on a lower pop, it'll probably be a little bit higher than it was before. But uh, that is my prediction. My estimated, my, my educated guess, if you will. But before we get into this week's Noob Gold Challenge, we just have to say a happy birthday to Joey. He is one year old today. I can't believe it. My, how time flies. This is him uh, climbing up on my leg and giving me a weird look this morning. Uh, so happy birthday, Joey. Joey is one year old. Last week, we ended the week with 9,282, rounded up to 283,000 gold on hand. And this week, we are starting things off with 9,309,000 gold on hand. So uh, we made a, a little under 30,000 raw gold. It's actually more than that because I spent a bunch of money uh, doing some crafting this morning. Uh, because the prices were so low, I'm working on leveling up my classic leatherworking for some transmog items that we'll be able to do in the future now that I've got that leveled up a little bit. And up on the auction house right now, we have 493 posted auctions. If they sold right now, it's telling me it would be about 2.7 million with about 1,300 gold coming in from three auctions. And those sales look like a... Uh, a transmog item and some corium ore. Now this is uh this may not be accurate. We're having some visual bugs and stuff going on. Everything is just really messed up. So uh these numbers could <laughs> could very well be wrong. But anyways, let's get into this week's sales. This week we have 418 make that 419 sales and these are going to be I I don't even know what's going on right now. Things are so crazy. Um some of the the prices on these is going to be so low it'll be stupid uh tsm is not working well or or something oh we just had another sale come through of heavy borean leather from our dragon farm so that's very nice that'll be a nice little windfall once that comes in but uh, anyways um uh, prices on things are crazy tsm is not working properly uh, i'll be uh, i'll be on my crafter looking to craft something and it'll be telling me it'll be a profit and then by the time I switch over and list it on the auction house, the price is just way off. So things, everything sucks right now. I'm probably going to take a week off from listing things that are region-wide unless they're a very good price, like our Borean leather is okay. And titanium is still good. Uh, Warbear leather is still good as well. So other than, other than things like that, I'm probably going to take a break from listing commodities. I'm probably not going to do any crafting for a little bit as well. Uh, we might even take a week completely off. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm just hoping that the panic selling will end and then things can get back to normal. But anyways, rant over. Let's get into this week's sales. So we have 419 sales. The first 100 is coming in for 53,000 gold. And right away we have a transmog item and then we have a glyph sale. I'm very unhappy about this glyph price. These were like close to 1,000 a couple weeks ago. So that is terrible. I actually stopped posting these once I kind of noticed what was going on. That's the thing about posting with something like TSM. You kind of... You can kind of get caught if you just automatically post things. But uh, anyway, we got a nice titanium ore sale here from our winter grass farm. Got some spirits of harmony. I was doing my uh, my quote unquote best raw gold farm last night on stream. So that's where those come from. Another very low price glyph. We also did my war bear leather farm on stream last night. Uh, and then we have our, our saving grace for the week. 
We have crafted Dreadful Gladiators pieces. Here is a stack of four. And then uh, everything else is terrible until we get down to a decent Saranite bar sale. So Saranite is still an okay price. It's not fantastic, but it is okay. Uh, then we have some potion flips in here. Again, I kind of got tricked by my TSM with these. Um, so I probably should have waited to, to list them, but uh, it is what it is. More glyphs that are terrible price. And uh, nothing is, everything sucks. Every, nothing is good here. <laughs> we got some Essence of Torment. That's very good. So bags are still something you're going to want to do. Bags are still profitable. Uh, just be careful. Be careful, guys. PSA, they raised the price on the thread. Uh, I believe, we were talking about this last night on stream, and we believe that they did it to end vendor shuffles. But, uh, so just keep an eye on that. But other than, uh, just, if you keep an eye on that, just make sure, uh, uh, you can probably get some bag flips in still. Uh, and just be careful. Another crafted Dreadful Gladiator piece. And then, uh, some Sorrow Moss for an okay price. Not great, but okay. So let's open this up, see what's next. And our second set of 100 sales is coming in for 46,000 gold. This is actually better than I thought it would be with the gold per sale rate uh, the average. Uh, when I was looking at things a couple days ago, it looked really bad. Like at the time, the 100 set that was up here was only worth like 12,000 gold. But this is this is not terrible. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So we got some more, just uh, some rugged leather, uh, just m random materials in here. My elixirs of giant growth have dropped so much in price. I am so unhappy about this. They were like 100 gold a couple weeks ago. Now they're like 10. Fortunately, we get them basically for free from our garrison. So we're still going to keep selling them. Another, this, oh my, man, this glyph makes me unhappy. This was 1,000 gold a couple weeks ago too. More enchanting flips that are probably not as profitable as they were a couple weeks ago. Heavy knot hide leather. This is okay, not great. Oh man, this is so depressing. <laughs> uh, nice arcane crystal sale in here. I'm I am loving how quickly everything sells, but uh, I am hating the prices. Savage leather. That's not bad. Uh, and here we go. Here we go. This is the save, saving grace right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crafted dreadful gladiator pieces in a row. Looks like someone was buying their entire set. So thank you to whoever that was. <laughs> then we got some more materials in here. Fell iron is still okay, not great. More Saronite. Um, so bolts of nether weave were were a profitable flip before, but it looks like they are not really anymore. Uh, they could be, but TSM is so janky that who knows. All right, let's open this up and see what is next. And here is our third set of hundred sales coming in at twenty eight thousand gold. So now we're getting into it right now with the, the terribleness. <laughs> so let's see how bad this is. Um, again, our elixirs of giant growth are terrible. Primal fire was okay. Um, I think I got these when I was doing Hellfire Farm, uh, Hellfire Peninsula, Fell Iron or Farm. Uh, Progenitor Essentia is still okay. I mean, it's not. It's not ideal, but it's okay if you can get them, but they're pretty hard to find. Not that hard, but you know what I mean. Uh, got a nice battle pet sale in here, and then some more bags. Uh, some enchanting materials. Nice titanium ore sale, once again from Wintergrasp. Um, Dreamleaf made a comeback for a couple days. It was back up to like 16 gold, and now it is crashed down to like 2 gold each. So that is absolutely... a abysmal so definitely don't sell dream leaf it might be a good time to buy it and use it to craft but uh the glyph prices are so bad that it's probably not worth it to do that either so i don't know man <laughs> i've tried nothing and i'm all out of ideas <laughs> all right anyways back uh back to the sales we got a nice titanium bar sale in here um okay so this glyph sale must have come in before the change where everything cr crashed uh good volatile fire here here uh, this is probably from my quote-unquote double any farm method. Crom's blood used to be a very good to sell. Now, not so much. Again, another nice glyph. Uh, I think this must have been when Dreamleaf was okay. Because that's pretty good price. Uh, let's see. Wooden stock is a vendor item. Always happy to see a vendor item sale. <laughs> nice volatile life and water sales in here. And very nice volatile air sale. Um... And then just some other ores and herbs. 
All right, let's open it up and get our next set. And here is our final set of 100 for the week, starting things off with uh, just some random materials in here. Uh, Enchant Cloak fortif Fortified Avoidance, this is still okay. Hexweave Bag is the Draenor Bag, that one sells very well, excellent price there. Uh, nice Glyph here, must have come in before the change again. Uh, Ice Thorn War Scro Scroll of Intellect uh, is from BFA Inscription. And then we've got nice Golden Sanzam. Um, another nice glyph here. There, that's what I'm talking about. The elixirs of giant growth used to be much better. This is much better, but uh, anyways, whatever. Grom's blood again. This used this was the old price, and so this is very good. Nice sorrow moss sale in here. Very very good. Uh, and then here we go is a huge Eternium prison key sa sale. This is from my mana tombs farm. So the price on this has crashed as well. So very unhappy about that too. <laughs> Everything sucks, man. I, I'm telling you, everything is bad. <laughs> um, War Scroll of Battle Shout, once again, Legion, or, I'm sorry, BFA Inscription. Nice Knotide Leather sale in here. A couple more crafted Dreadful Gladiator pieces. Uh, more Knotide Leather. Knotide Leather I get from uh, Karazhan. Check out my Karazhan farm. Ghost Mushroom is one of the few herbs that has not crashed, so we might do more farming for that. And then a nice sungrass sale in here. Nice heavy boring leather from our dragon farm. Uh, another decent glyph. And then uh, just some random materials. Okay, let's see what we've got left over here. And our remaining 21 sales are coming in for about 9,000 gold. Uh, so let's see. We got a glyph in here, an enchant, some random materials. Nice Saruman sale. From Swamp of Sorrows Farm, another nice glyph. Um, 69, nice heavy Borean leather. Once again from the Dragon Farm. More Borean leather, very nice. And look at this, very nice elixir of giant growth. Back before the change. Alec Plushy is from Draenor Garrison Tailoring. And then a deep sea bag from my uh, BFA bag flip. That I used to really like, but seems to be bad like everything else. All right, let's open this up and get our grand total. And our grand total for the week is... Drum roll, please. 100... Wow! Oh, wow! I did much better than I thought it would. 174,000 gold. I thought that this was going to be much lower after everything went to hell. All right, let's see uh, what we're at now. Ooh, so close to 9.5. We We are at 9 million... 483,000. I really thought we were going to hit 9.5 million this week, but uh, that was before everything went to hell. So we are at 9.483, so we are very close. We have uh, we have 517,000 gold to go before our giveaway. So hopefully we can get that done in a couple weeks, uh, but who knows with how terrible everything is with the auction house now after 9.2.7 in the merger. So uh, we'll see. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all for your support. We just passed uh, 4,500 4, 4, subscribers on the YouTube channel. Uh, our, our Twitch subscribers have dropped a little bit, but I perfectly understand that since I had to take that week off when I was sick. So people probably let their subs lap, lapse. But uh, thank you all so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. And please drop a happy birthday to Joey in the comments section. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible.